Welcome back to another episode of We Rogue Like It. I'm your host, Boston Jeremy, as always, is Moonpeer. Bonjour, mon ami. And Monkey Senior. Hello. We are back from our vacation. Uh, the holidays are over. Uh, if you're watching the video version, <sighs> Monkey is still celebrating on the holidays, and I'm here for it. I love it. Uh, but we are all done uh, with uh, 2019's roguelikes, and now we're here to talk about 20. 12's roguelike with nuclear <laughs> throne <laughs> a, a significantly older game but um one that shockingly we haven't played yet on the show even though it's one of the one of the classics of the genre yeah this is the one one of the ones that was talked about the same the same reverence as isaac and gungeon like especially yeah, the yeah. first iteration of gungeon like they were all being talked about in the same circles as these are the roguelikes you need to play kind of thing yeah um <clears throat> excuse me for you putting my uh, educational hat on here but required reading i believe is the terminology ah, there you go and uh gungeon does have a lot of nuclear throne references in it mm-hmm. uh, also it references pretty much everything, everything. <laughs> yeah it, it even has a really great uh isaac gun which um does it fire is also tears? useless does it fire tears? <laughs> it does it does fire tears and it's completely useless awesome. it's really great <laughs> great. Uh, all right who wants to go first with nuclear throne i'll go first Okay. Platforms of choice. Let's start with that. I'm playing on PS4 and PC. Monkey? Uh, PC. PC here too. Yo, this okay. is a game maker game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a little... Uh, like all the other game maker roguelikes we've had on the show, it's a little broken. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. And to start with, let's just mention the fact that you have to turn on gamepad support in the mm. menus. So if okay. you are looking to play, very similar to Risk of Rain, if you are looking yeah. to play this with a gamepad, there is a menu option you need to activate gamepad support. I didn't even know the PC version had gamepad support. I tried it on my Steam Link, and it, like, I had my gamepad in my hand, and it was like, okay, yeah, this is fine, this is going to work fine, let's go. Yeah. And then I started, got to the main menu, wiggled my sticks around, I was like, well, nothing's happening. <laughs> Move my mouse a little bit, I was like... I saw Game Maker. Wasn't Risk of Rain Game Maker? <laughs> Wait a Went minute. Went into settings right at the top. Gamepad. Clicked it on. There you go. Problem solved. It it plays okay with Gamepad. It does. It plays surprisingly yeah. well with Gamepad. Um, it feels pretty solid control-wise. Does the screen shake a little bit too much for anyone else, or is that yeah. just me? I, I turned can, it all yeah, the way off. Turn off. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you. I need to go. Yeah, there's a slider, and I just I I tried it at like 100 percent is too much, 50 percent was sort of still too much, and at zero, it's it's pretty perfect. Okay, so note to self: go and turn off screen shake because yeah. that drove me crazy. <laughs> it's so much. Yeah, like, there's, there's a lot of screen shake in this. <laughs> yeah, for no oh. reason really. Oh uh, no, I. I I, there was a lot of uh, pushback on indie developers for a long time about like you don't have to put screen shake in your game it's okay if you don't and I feel like Nuclear Throne was either the genesis of that or making fun of it okay so it was one of the two yeah uh, okay what else was that let's see I've unlocked like five characters yeah nice. so have I uh, I have not made it to the throne yet no I, I can regularly get to 3-1. Thank you. Yep. Thank you God. literally named yep. my death level. Yeah, and I I do okay, but I I I feel like on the first couple levels I'm doing all right, and then by the time I get to 3-1, either I don't have enough skill or I don't have enough weapons or something, it all kind of goes pear-shaped there. Uh, for me, whenever I hit 3-1, it's always a case of I'm in this tiny little notch and then literally the first room I go into is a giant corridor with people above and below me. It feels like every single time. And then right. it just yeah. becomes me stuck in uh, in this horrible position of <laughs> stick your head out, get shot in the back. Stick your head out, face right. the other way, get shot in the back again. So, On PS4, I did get a trophy for dying to a shot i got shot in the back from a sniper bullet that bounced off a wall and hit me in the back and i got a trophy for that oh, that gosh. felt that felt pretty great because i was like that was a terrible death and it was something like sincerest condolences and i was like okay okay that's pretty good. that's okay <laughs> uh character wise do we have any i mean i don't know about you guys but honestly my favorite character so far is like <laughs> this is i'm gonna show the uh wait there the masochistic side of me here. I had to make sure I used the right one. 
I love the crystal guy. He is my mm-hmm. main because he has yep. the shield. The, the shield. purple dude. Uh-huh. So strong. Yeah. My second main character is Melting. Because oh, which why not make thing? it as difficult as possible for myself <laughs> straight off the bat? He's the one with 2 HP, right? 2 yeah. HP. That's yeah. all he has. But his active ability is he makes corpses explode. Right. So literally, if you can get one or two deaths in like an area and there's a bunch of enemies there, you just pull that active ability, it blows up, kills all those people, then you pull the trigger again, it kills all those people, and it kills everybody yeah, else, and yeah. it just becomes this chain reaction of giblets everywhere and i love it kill all the rats in the sewer yes <laughs> i love it but then i take a hit and then i, I die and i'm just like come on really yeah i like the plant guy because he moves pretty quickly he doesn't yeah. have a ton of health and he doesn't have a like a ton of great abilities oh, but i like that terrible. movement i really don't like his active as well it's, yeah <laughs> it, it's good in certain situations like there's there's a stage later where it becomes really good because oh, okay. things get really fast, so you just use that, and uh, they stop moving basically. So yeah, hmm. uh, my favorites. I don't know if you guys unlocked them, but uh, what's his name? Steroids. Ooh, I don't, I don't think, think I, have, I have him yet. He, uh, have you reached the throne? No, I have not. Oh, okay. He, I'm assuming you beat three one. So yeah. My what level yeah. did you make her up to? Uh. I think just before the throne, but to be clear, I I did play this uh, previously. Um, uh, okay. okay, so you're a so, cheat. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I thought about uh, resetting my progress and just starting fresh over. Um, yeah, if Isaac ever comes up and we rug like I'm never doing that. So yeah. I don't blame yeah, you for not doing. I'm that. Already too far in. <laughs> so I I looked at my stats because they have a stats and the options. Um, I have. 36 hours, uh, 43% unlocks. That's <laughs> okay. In oh, hello, five, Isaac again. 525 runs. Oh, wow. Whoa. Zero wins. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, this this game is uh, hard. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, for steroids, uh, he, he dual wields. So that's... Oh, that's hello. Cool. So, yeah. So I, I play with the mouse. So one... Uh, the left, left mouse click two, right, two guns. Yeah, to shoot. And uh, okay. it's, it's so it's so fun to do. Um but the his downside, quote unquote, is uh he's less accurate. But oh, then okay. if you have like two shotguns, you're just spreading your yeah. <laughs> bullets all over and Even, it's like know, a, it's, it's pretty fun. What was that guy's name in Borderlands 2? Salvador? The, gun the guy who yeah. Yeah, the, the gun Gunzerker. Zerker, yeah. Like mm-hmm. that, that reminds me a lot of that. Yeah. I mean, it, honestly, the way the bullet, the sort of setting guns fire in this game, the accuracy feels like it doesn't really matter a lot of the time. Mm-hmm. Because even when you get stuff like the, the submachine gun, it's kind of not that accurate anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to spray a pretty good amount. Yeah. 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 Um, how about those melee weapons? Oh. <laughs> I don't like screwdriver melee. really doing it for you. I don't like the melee <laughs> I, at all. This, I could I could see how they could be really strong. I just I feel like if let's make an Isaac analog here yet again. I feel like they're like orbitals in Isaac, where you can use those as weapons, and you'll probably eventually use those like once you're four hundred hours deep. But at hour four, that seems like a really bad idea. Yeah, like yeah. Mother's Knife or whatever is in Isaac is a prime yeah. example of that, where it's just like for the longest time I was like, cool, it's a knife and it's got a huge like size on it, so it takes out a lot of the bullets coming into me. Mm. And then you realize that it also does like four ticks of damage a second if you touch him with it. So <laughs> yeah, it's like, like, oh, it's the strongest weapon in the game. Okay, so I'm cool. just going to run in circles and use my knife to just hold it in your body while I run in circles around you. Like, yeah, there is, they are really powerful. Like the little bit yeah. I've experimented with the melee is they are very, very powerful. I think the yeah. only person to that I would recommend so far using that with would be the plant. Because you need mm-hmm. the speed, you need that Isaac 
like get that mutation to have uh, melee to do more have more range or do more damage which are more range yeah yeah i think so but like have that and then use the speed to avoid the bullets and yep. then just circle back around people and give them the old well, shiv in the back kind of attitude right you know, <laughs> right some uh melee weapons actually reflect some bullets like the the big red uh interesting uh, yeah so like everything else the they, it just ones, but... right uh, if you hit those with the melee weapons, they just disappear. Interesting. Like the, the bullets. Note so, yeah. to self, play more with melee. Okay. Yeah, interesting. All right, we're learning a lot of, <laughs> lot of tips here. Uh, speaking of the mutations, I, I do like that system. I think it is interesting having some of that roguelike randomness mm-hmm. happen between levels when you level up. That's um, one of the reasons why I like melting, because I think he ends double radiation. Um, oh, so okay. like I finished level one with him at one point and was level three by the time I finished the right, first level. Right, right. And then it's just like stacking mutations and mutations and mutations. He's very much, if you can get good at dodging stuff, which I'm not yet, but if you yeah. can get good at dodging stuff, he might be the, the thing to take you to that extremely mutated, overpowered nightmare scenario. Right. Yeah. Uh, any closing thoughts on Nuclear Throne for, for week one here? I like the way it looks. Um, yeah. Like, graphically, it doesn't feel like it's aged at all. I mean, you said, what, this is 2012 this thing came out? Yeah, around there, yeah. It's, it's, it's a good couple of years like, old, yeah. It's one of those games that feels like it's, because of the art style, it has kind of kept its... Um, sort of its charm. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I can't help but feel like Rad might be a tiny little bit of a ripoff of Nuclear Throne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rad. I I played Rad last year, and I was, especially with the mutations, I was I was thinking that where it's like this is this feels spiritually very similar. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. I like it. The guns. I, I'm looking forward to seeing if there's any other any unlocks in that side of things because right now I've found two guns that I like, and they're the guns I want to use. And that's right. any form of shotgun and any form of machine gun, whether it's the slow firing yep. machine gun or not. I hate the crossbows. I hate the disc oh, guns. I love I hate, the crossbow. I hate the grenade launcher. I, hate I like disc guns. A grenade launcher will kill me every time. I killed yeah. myself with a disc gun because I accidentally, <laughs> I accidentally hit fire when I was walking down a very narrow corridor. Oh no! And then it bounced off the far wall and then did the. Uh, Resident Evil 1 do, 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 all the way back towards me hit me like three times and killed me it was like super meat boy all really, over again yeah. really why did I just do that yeah yeah uh, okay well that's our first week of nuclear throne thank you so much everyone for listening and we'll see you next run bye bye, bye. welcome to 2020